Hey guys, what's up? This is White Boy for the win, and welcome back to Why Mega Evolve. Now, earlier this week we talked about Mega Mod Champ, and today we're going to be talking about Mega Weezing. But before we get started, let me just give you guys a brief explanation on what this series is about. Now, every week I will be picking two Pokemon that either need a Mega Evolution, deserve a Mega Evolution, or I want a Mega Evolution for. Now, this is based off my opinion, my opinion alone, and no one else's. Now, if you guys do not like my opinion, then please post your own opinions in the comment section down below about what would you keep, what would you change, and etc. And at the end of the video I will be telling you guys which Pokemon we're going to be talking about the following day. So with that said, here is Mega Weezing. Now I do have to let you guys know that I tried to fix my uh, mic volume so if it's a little bit louder than it was in my Mega Mod Chip video, let me know because it seems perfect for me uh, from when I'm recording this and actually hearing myself. So. Um, if it is fine, then just let me know in the comments. Now, I'm sorry that I also didn't have <laughs> a Watt Mega Evolve video up, like, earlier today. I was actually at my friend's house the whole day, and I didn't actually have a chance to even record at all this week. Nonetheless, today, and it's almost... Actually, it is 11 o'clock at night right now, so once I'm done recording this and editing this, this is going straight up. So I do apologize for having this video up late, and I, like I said in my Mega March Hand video, if a video comes out late, then I'm sorry. It's either that because I, it's because of school, or it's just because I'm busy with friends and stuff like that. But besides that, um, that's all I really got to say about that, so I do have to apologize. But anyways, let's just talk about Mega Weezing. Now, honestly, Weezing is a Pokemon. Pokemon that I would say that shouldn't be in like the lower tier in like the Smogon base tiers because I believe if I'm not mistaken Weezing is either in the NU or RU tier and I actually thought it was either in like the UU tier or possibly in the OU tier but nonetheless I think Weezing does really need a mega evolution just because like it could be better I mean the only thing that's basically making this thing a very very amazing Pokemon is that it's it's a defensive build because all you pretty much do is run 248 in HP, max physical defense with a, a bold nature, and the rest in either in special attack or special defense. And that's pretty much your wheezing and it does have levitate so it's pretty much uh, one of its weaknesses are already gone and the only weakness from the top of my head that it that it will be weak to considering it has levitate and ground doesn't affect it is psychic types. So. Um, that's pretty much like the standard wheezing, but nonetheless, as you can tell from what I've done to its stats, I did increase everything but decrease its speed. Now, a lot of people will probably agree with me with like the speed decrease uh, for wheezing, just because wheezing is very, very slow, and it also does get access to gyro ball. So if you do decide to run like a coverage move like gyro ball on it, then that would be a very, very good coverage move to have on it as well. Now, anyways, for its physical attack, I increased it from base 90 to base 110. So like I said, it does get access to gyro ball, and I did decrease its speed, so a little bit of an, a physical attack increase will do it some good. And also, wheezing does get access to like a explosion and self-destruct and with a base 110 physical attack this thing is just going to like do massive amount of damage even though explosion and self-destruct are normal types so I really wouldn't do much to like steel types uh, what is it rock types and a lot of other um, like type things that resist normal type but nonetheless explosion and self-destruct are very very good moves to have on a wheezing depending on like your team situation so with the 110 uh, physical attack um, even though you don't have any like physical attack investments it can still do a lot of damage with base 110 physical attack now for its special attack I increased it from base 85 to base 115 now I wanted to give its special attack a little bit more of a boost in its physical attack because most of the time, or should I say all the time, uh, Weezing pretty much just runs the moves like Will-O-Wisp, Pain Split, Sludge Bomb, and either Fire Blast or Flamethrower. So, pretty much like once you run the defensive build, you always run like uh, two special type moves, and those are probably going to be Sludge Bomb just because it's for coverage and stab, and um, Flamethrower or Fire Blast because um, it is also stab as well. So with base 115, it's just going to be doing a lot of damage to your opponent, and it is going to be 361 um, as its final stat if you do run like a modest nature, uh, which I highly doubt considering that um, its defense is very, very high, so you're going to want to run the defensive bulk. But nonetheless, base 115 with like a little bit of uh, uh, investment into its special attack, this thing is just going to be like one-shotting a lot of stuff or just doing a lot of damage to that Pokemon, and then you can just pretty much knock it out the next turn, or you can just switch out and knock it out that turn uh, whatever the case may be but 115 special attack is very very good for a mega wheezing <clears throat> 
Now, for its physical defense, I increased it from base 120 to base 160. Now, I was thinking, do I want to increase its physical defense to base 180 just like Mega Slowbro? or just have it just like 40 points into its physical defense to base 160. And I decided to opt for the base 160's physical defense because if I'm not mistaken, um, Weezing's uh, HP is the exact same as Slowbro. Um, I'm not 100% sure on that, don't quote me on that, but I know it's somewhere around the same um, as a Slowbro or Mega Slowbro, uh, it doesn't really matter which one you say, but um, this thing will be able to eat up physical attacks, so you can have you can run like a Mega Weezing on your team to make this thing like your physical wall, because it is at base 160 physical defense. This thing is just going to be eating up hits, and that's what I really, really like Weezing. It's just that it's a very, very bulky Pokemon to have on your team, and it's just phenomenal. So, base 160, very, very good high defensive stat for, I would say, Mega Weezing. Now, for its special defense, I increased it from base 70 to base 100. Now, the one thing that's kind of crippling uh, Weezing, in a sense, is its special defense at base 70, just as a regular Weezing. So, with that actually, or with that 30-point uh, boost into its special defense, it's going to do it some good, because in that way, uh, you will be able to live, like, maybe at least one Psychic from, like, an Espeon, or, like, just a Psychic move in general, because you will be at base 100 special defense, so that's what I really wanted to go for, or should I say opt for, or it really doesn't matter which one, but base 100 in special defense will let you probably and hopefully live at least one Psychic. Now, as a regular Weezing, its base set is at 490, and with the Mega Evolution, is going to be at 590, just 10 points shy from base 600, but hey, it's still going to be a powerhouse Pokemon. Now, for its ability, now before you guys start going crazy and saying, why didn't you give it Levitate? Hear me out. I actually went with Filter. Now, the reason why I went with Filter is because uh, I didn't really give it a base 180 physical defense, nor did I give it a little bit more uh, special defensive bulk to it because I decided to give it Filter. That way, it will be able to eat up maybe a little bit more hits um, like from psychic types or ground types so um, even though you are pretty much gaining back that ground weakness you are also like taking I, I wouldn't say less damage because that's like not gonna um, it really wouldn't work like that but um, you will take less damage if that makes any sense now I, I can't remember um, how much like filter like decreases the special uh, the uh, super effective move I keep because I keep getting filter and, and solid rock mixed up like one of them takes uh, it takes away like one fourth of like the super effective damage and one takes like what like one third I can't remember which one but filter is pretty much the exact same thing as uh, solid rock so uh, yeah, so I decided to go with filter now. You can't opt for um, giving this thing levitate if you do decide to want to actually have levitate back on wheezing. But pretty much either one of those abilities will work. I actually will probably prefer levitate as well. But if I'm going to have to like um, give it like a new ability, because knowing Game Freak, he'll probably give like a stupid ability to Omega, like Mega Auto. No, um, he's probably going to give it a filter. I mean, I could, I could just imagine this thing like having filter. I mean, just because look, look at look at wheezing. It's like a giant puff cloud, so it makes kind of sense in a way. So that's why I went with filter. Now for its typing, alongside the, the poison typing, I actually decided to give it the fire type characteristics. Now, I didn't give it the fire type characteristics just because of the mega uh, wheezing picture that I'm using in the video. I'm actually giving it the fire type characteristics because pretty much most of the time you're going to be running like either flamethrower or fire blast on your wheezing for coverage. So I was thinking, you know what? If people are just going to be using coverage or fire type coverage like fly, fire blast and flamethrower on your wheezing, why not just make it part fire for its mega? So I decided to give it the uh, fire type characteristics considering you're most likely going to be running like fire blast or flamethrower as another coverage move and in this case since it's going to be part fire it's going to be stabbing it's going to be doing a little bit more damage so i think poison fire would be a very very good ability or typing and i think it is a unique typing as well because i don't think we'll be able we'll have a poison poison fire typing pokemon <laughs> but uh yeah anyways there is mega wheezing now i know some of you guys are probably not going to agree with like me taking away levitate and putting on filter for its ability but you never know game freak is probably going to give it a or give some po a mega evolution pokemon a stupid ability hence mega auto so um it's this is pretty much what i expect its stats to be and the typing as well i mean its ability you can go either filter or levitate 
So, like I said, with that, there is Mega Weezing. Now, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Now, next week on Tuesday, we are actually going to be talking about Mega Excadrill. I've been seeing this comment for a long time now, and I was like, you know what? Might as well just do it. So, coming up on Tuesday, we're going to be talking about Mega Excadrill, and also... I will have a special Why Mega Evolve video up on the same day or um, later on today, depending on when you're watching this Mega Weezing video. So stay tuned for that if you are interested in seeing the special. I'll explain everything in the video once it's up. So with that, like I said, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to comment and subscribe. On Tuesday, we're going to be talking about Mega Excursion Drill. So this is White Boy for the win, and I'll catch you guys later.